hi in this video we are going to see data link uh, layer protocol so the protocol the set of rule which we follow while performing the task in uh, computer communication we use uh, protocols in each and every layer from application layer to the physical layer while transmitting the data from sender to the receiver we follow different protocol so what are the protocols we have to follow uh, when the frame actually transmitted from sender side so there are two conditions uh, we need to consider how the data is actually flowing and uh, without any disturbances and uh, uh, is there any error so flow and error control uh, so uh, the framing and the flow and the error control are the functions of uh, data link control generally data link layer what it, what it is doing uh, it is actually collecting the information from the upper layer all the collected information are kept into the packet and that packet as a frame is transferred to the receiver is the issue what we face uh, while transferring the data from sender to the receiver uh, one is flow if the sender capability is high and the receiver capability is less so the receiver will not be able to collect all the data uh, whatever uh, the sender is sending so once that is uh, that means uh, once the buffer in the send, uh, receiver side is full remaining data are not uh, collected or actually dropped out otherwise the receiver will ask the sender to wait for some time stop and wait until the received data are processed and the error occurs uh, when we transmit the signal over uh, transmission medium due to the external disturbances the signal loss lead to uh, uh, the error at the receiver side and the error is to be corrected actually uh, once it is found uh, there is uh, a corruption in the pro packet received it is to be found and corrected so let's see now uh, what are the protocols we follow when we have the issue in flow and uh, there is an error in the collected data so these are the four protocols that is simple protocol stop and wait selective repeat uh, and go back in the first two protocols simple stop and wait protocols are widely used and other two are uh, not that popular let us understand uh, the behavior of uh, this uh, data link layer protocol using a finite state machine so generally finite state machine we have a different state uh, that represents that uh, event occurs in the machine so once the machine is on from the initial state uh, uh, based on the event occurs in the initial state here start is the initial state and uh, if any event occurs based on the event the transition occurs from one state to another state here so uh, let us take the first state uh, where for example uh, here uh, in state one uh, let us take uh, if zero occurs the transition event is zero and uh, there is an uh, action that is the transition from state one to state two and when the logic one occurs there is a transition between state one to state n So what is simple protocol? A simple protocol that we don't uh, uh, consider. There is neither flow nor uh, error occurred in the system. So we have uh, a sender. Uh, so the role of the data link layer is collecting the data and uh, it sends. In this, uh, we can assume that the receiver can immediately respond to uh, the data whatever received. So which means uh, the capacity of a receiver is equivalent to the sender. So whenever sender is sending uh, the data, all data are actually collected and uh, processed to further stage at the receiver. As soon as it receives the data from the network layer, it sends the packet and uh, the data link layer at the receiver side. Uh, as soon as it receives the packet, it uh, uh, decapsulates uh, the data and uh, we're proceeding it. So this simple protocol uh, between the sender and uh, uh, receiver, the process can be represented uh, with the help of uh, two FSMs. That is, uh, uh, one state machine is the sender and another state machine is the receiver. So both are in ready state. Which means uh, as soon as the request comes, there is an action. We, as soon as the event occurs, uh, there is a transition between one state to another state and uh, the event occurs. Uh, sorry, the, there is an action. So the event is actually nothing but the collected data from the network layer. And uh, as soon as the event occurs, uh, what is the action? It uh, makes the frame and uh, sending the frame to the receiver. 
until and unless the frame arrive this won't uh, perform any action so as soon as the frame arrived the action at uh, uh, the, the data link layer of the receiver uh, is actually delivering the packet to the network layer this is the simple protocol we have it on the sender and receiver side process see this flow diagram also uh, is representing uh, uh, the send, uh, continuous uh, processes of data that is sending node here this is sending node and this is the receiving node uh, here actually the sender doesn't worry about uh, what is happening at the receiver side whether it is uh, processing or any data losses or whatever it doesn't uh, think about that so continuously frames are processed and that means uh, uh, the sender sends continuously uh, packets uh, one after another uh, the, and that won't think about uh, what the receiver is uh, performing so continuous process and the next is stop and wait protocol the protocol that is set of rule we follow uh, when actually the issue in flow and uh, the error uh, in the collected data uh, the error in collected data is uh, the receiver side because uh, once uh, flow means what uh, if the buffer at the receiver side is overwhelmed with the collected data and uh, remaining data are to be actually uh, stopped by the sender side previously collected data are processed means the sender will send the next data so that is stop and uh, wait protocol here the sender is actually sending uh, only one frame at a time and uh, uh, waiting for the acknowledgement from receiver to send the next data once the sender uh, sends the data if the data is received uh, uh, correctly or not that we will find with the help of uh, uh, some error checking method so one of the method is uh, crc that is cyclic redundancy check there we add uh, extra bytes actually uh, to find uh, the data is actually corrupted or not the packet received is corrupted or not actually the sign here is uh, if the receiver keeps silence uh, uh, it means not sending the acknowledgement then the sender will get to know there is an error so it maintains the copy of the sent data and will resend the data if it receives the acknowledgement then the sender will proceed with the next data to send this understand this stop and wait protocol in the form of a finite state machine so the sender is actually one state machine and the receiver is in uh, and the receiver is another state machine so both are in ready state always ready state means what uh, here uh, the state is always ready uh, and as soon as uh, uh, the event occurs it starts the action which means as soon as the data received from the network layer it uh, makes the frame and uh, um, sending the data to the receiver so here uh, the sender is in ready state but it can move between the ready and blocking state it is actually waiting for the acknowledgement after sending the data the role of this blocking state is actually three cases that is uh, the first even in case the event is uh, the data is uh, received properly at the receiver so it sends the acknowledgement and uh, the event at the blocking state is uh, acknowledgement received and the action for the received acknowledgement is to stop the timer and uh, send next data in case if there is a timeout or uh, uh, the event like uh, there is a timeout or uh, the corrupted event uh, the corrupted acknowledgement uh, received uh, then the blocking state will discard all and uh, it will send the copy of the previously sent frame this flow diagram is uh, explaining how actually stop and uh, wait protocol is followed in between uh, sender and receiver let us say the timer here has shown has a ready state and this is a blocking state and uh, uh, here is uh, the state at the receiver side yeah in the first one so in the first uh, uh, step uh, look at this the packet is received from the network and as soon as the packet the event occurred here is packet received the action to be sending the frame from the sender to the receiver yes so at the receiver side uh, if the packet is uh, received without any corruption there is no error it immediately sends the acknowledgement so the timer is set before the time if the acknowledgement is received the packet will uh, send the next data yes so in the second case look at this the frame which is sent uh, by the sender is lost uh, on the way so the receiver is not receiving anything so it maintains silence 
so auto indefinitely the timer will expire so the copy of this frame is actually again resent to the receiver yes if the receiver is receiving the frame it is sending the acknowledgement and the process is done it is sending next packet so in this case after sending the frame successfully sending the frame the acknowledgement from the receiver side is lost so what happens so it is corrupted acknowledgement so uh, this, in this case uh, it, though the packet is uh, uh, arrived properly the sender does not the send because the acknowledgement is not received from the receiver the sender thinks that there is an error so it is resending the data and the duplicate copy is again uh, collected by the receiver and the acknowledgement is sent